losing 500 pounds. You're gonna be um, joining the 500 club. That's right. This little girl, I was fun, happy, full of energy, like to dance, sing. 692 pounds, almost 700 pounds. I'm very proud of Justin and the progress he has made. Number 10, Mercedes Cephas. Since its inception in 2012, the viewers of My 600 Pound Life have witnessed several journeys of successes and some failures on the reality show. And whatever the result may be, the weight loss program they adopt has different impacts on different people. One such contestant who had to undergo a challenging journey for weight reduction was Mercedes Cephas. She appeared on Season 7, Episode 18, and showed how deep trauma can impact one's life irreversibly. Mercedes Cephas weighed 773 pounds and had severe lymphedema when she appeared on the show in 2019. A native of Cincinnati, Ohio, the then 37-year-old mother of two was completely dependent on others for her survival. Mercedes' harmful food habits had ultimately made her restricted to bed and her situation was on the verge of negatively impacting her children. Right from her 11-year-old daughter, Kim Raya, ex-boyfriend, sister as well as her personal care assistant, Brittany, several people helped her throughout the day with her basic needs, like bathing and cooking. On the show, Mercedes confessed that she couldn't believe what she had let her life become, that she'd gotten so big that it was hard to do just about anything. And every day, it got worse. But she had two young kids that she had to take care of. Food was still the only thing she looked forward to, amidst all the pain. But then, let me down. <laughs> feel robbed of my innocence and made me feel sad, made me feel dirty. I was a little girl, I was fun, happy, full of energy, liked to dance. However, the trauma behind this addiction dated back to her childhood, which began when her father began maltreating her mother. After some time, her mother couldn't bear it, so she took her children and left their home. With no one to look after their food needs, Mercedes began eating whatever she wanted and gained weight. Sadly, things got worse for Mercedes. She stated that when she was 11, her father started cardinally maltreating her and her sisters, which she found out later for many years. She expressed her misery seeing that what she had experienced had robbed her of her innocence, made her feel sad and dirty. And as a child, with something like that happening, she didn't know what to do with it. So she just went to food and started eating a lot. Even though it stopped after two to three years, the trauma lived on, leading Mercedes to get to 300 pounds by the age of 15. After dropping out of school at 16, Mercedes got her nursing assistant certificate at 19 and began working and living at a nursing home. But she kept gaining weight and had to work in the library, which required minimal work. Additionally, when she had her children later, she got infected with flesh-eating bacteria during her C-section deliveries. These incidents further impacted Mercedes mentally, and she kept leaning on food for some comfort. However, once she realized that her condition was affecting her children as well, she decided to seek professional help from Dr. Now and moved to Houston. Although she tried to adhere to the strict diet plan, Mercedes could not do so and gave a myriad of reasons for that. She made constant complaints, even though she knew that her condition was putting her key organs at risk. It was stated on the show that she also lied about following the diet properly. Thus, she could only lose 81 pounds. As a result, Mercedes couldn't qualify for gastric bypass surgery. Therefore, she left the program after bringing her weight down to 692 pounds. Number 9. Tiffany Barker The season 7 episode premiered in February 2019 and it told the story of Tiffany Barker, an almost 29-year-old from Marysville, Wash. The most iconic scene was when she discussed how she loved shopping for food on her TV debut during a trip for grocery shopping. Fans of the show watched as she slowly made her way through the store, but the joy stopped there as Barker's struggle quickly became apparent. Shopping with boyfriend Aaron Coronado, she got overcome by pain and exhaustion and had to quickly return to her car after a small exertion. She confessed that her joy was dimmed due to pain in her hip and her legs. The struggle was sucking the joy out of shopping for food, which was something she absolutely loved. Aside from eating, it was her favorite thing to do. She had ballooned to over 600 pounds as a result of a food-related childhood trauma. He was a stay-at-home dad. He was a self-employed mechanic and my mom worked. So she was working all day. As a teenager, I really started to defend her because she was working two full-time jobs. And I hope that 
your parents recognize what an extraordinary... When she was nine, Tiffany's mother got a full-time job and her obese father made all of the household cooking Tiffany's responsibility. As a result, Tiffany was forced to grow up before her time. But the cooking responsibilities instilled in her a passion for all things culinary. That is, until her love of eating food began to hinder her ability to prepare it. After Tiffany finishes her studies, she decided to go into the service industry and landed a job at a banquet. This was her dream come true until she was too big to get around the kitchen and was fired. After a whirlwind few years during which Tiffany fell into a deep depression and brought her weight upward of 600 pounds, she began working as an internet model and forged a relationship with then-boyfriend Aaron Coronado. Aaron stuck with Tiffany through the thick and thin and even relocated to Houston to be with her as she underwent Dr. Now's treatment. The experience was fraught with emotion, but she continued to persevere. An inflamed gallbladder began to cause difficulties, but she pushed through, achieving a weight of 555 pounds by month 7 and went ahead with the surgery. At 12 months, she weighed 415 pounds with a weight loss of more than 250 pounds. Your eating habit? Um, I am definitely an emotional eater. I will get... Um, I have a bad habit of waiting all day and then binge eating at the end of the day. Number 8. Octavia Nichelle My 600-pound life has always inspired people to work towards a healthy life. One of the episodes that proved hard work pays off was of Octavia. However, her journey was not always an easy one. The devil from her past and her health struggles often made it hard for her to carry on. However, she did not give up. The reality star had a lot of ups and downs on the show. However, she had the help of Dr. Yunan Nauzaradan, who refused to give up on her. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh. You've been on uh, stretcher yeah. before, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then we'll get rolling, okay? My butt don't fall out. Cut it out for me. Two, three. On the show, Octavia opened up about her troubled past. She explained how she did not have a joyful upbringing because of her parents' relationship. Octavia's weight gain story began because she was allegedly carnally maltreated by her stepfather. She claimed he had been violent towards her mother. The stifling atmosphere at home forced Octavia to turn to food, which seemed like the only source of comfort. As a result, by the time she was 20, she weighed about 500 pounds. To make things worse, Octavia revealed she was carnally maltreated again when she was 20. Despite this, Octavia tried to keep herself strong and focus on her sister and mother. Her life took a turn when Octavia's mother passed away. After serving many losses, Octavia decided to turn her life around and work on her health. After she lost her mother, she had to take care of her younger sister, who eventually got married. Left rudderless, Octavia took a deep dive into depression and went on a food bench until she realized she had to make a life for herself. Self. This led into one of the most outlandish scenes to be seen on reality television. Due to her lack of mobility, the participant had to be given special care by the fire department and medical personnel. The Texas native was mortified by the fanfare, with which she was carried to the back of a van which took her to Houston. Obviously, riding the back of a van all the way to another state is the lowest low. When she finally arrived in Houston to see Dr. Now, she weighed 692 pounds. She took all my 600-pound life weight loss instructions seriously and lost a dramatic number of pounds. While relapse is a big deal for people undergoing bariatric surgery, Octavia stuck to her healthy lifestyle and lost about 236 pounds. She brought her weight to an impressive 456 pounds. There's issues right now that we need to address. Other than your weight and lack of ability to get up. 692 pounds. Almost 700 pounds. Calorie a day diet so we can get your weight down. Right. Number 7. Justin McSwain When he first appeared on the TLC reality show, Justin weighed close to 700 pounds. A young man who had so much potential but was reduced to hating to look at himself in the mirror. The 27-year-old Justin McSwain was seriously struggling. He had gained nearly 400 pounds in just 4 years. His 687-pound frame had destroyed his life. Because of his size, he could no longer go to an office and work. He had developed debilitating anxiety and 
agoraphobia and had found a great way to not leaving his house by having all of his food delivered so he didn't have to go outside. If Octavia went through the humiliation of riding to Houston in the back of a van on a mattress, Justin struggled to fit in cars at his heaviest. The incident occurred when he sought help from Dr. Nozaradan and tried to travel to Houston for it. His roadblock was strange as he couldn't fit into the rental car he'd booked to drive to his office. Before we move ahead, you need to move down here to Houston. So, you ready for that? I'm very proud of Justin and the progress he has made. While he kept repeating that this wasn't the vehicle he had booked, the cameras kept rolling. And even though his journey was a difficult one, it was it was direly needed. Justin's quality of life was so compromised as he was housebound. He struggled to breathe and to complete daily tasks as a result of his food addiction. He weighed 687.5 pounds at his initial weigh-in and was tasked with dropping 92 pounds in order to qualify for bariatric surgery. Thankfully, Justin managed to shed the pounds and his operation went ahead. And by the time his final episode aired, Justin was down a whopping 334 pounds. It be an opportunity to rebuild the relationship that I have with my mom. And all I can ever do is say that I'm sorry for not being the mother that you deserve. Number 6. Brandon Scott As anyone who's watched My 600 Pound Life can attest, a big component when it comes to people suffering from morbid obesity and losing weight comes down to attitude. A lot of people who come onto the show just want an easy fix without cutting back on how much they eat and exercise. Plenty of controversial individuals have made their way onto the reality series over the years had this attitude problem. Luckily. Season 7 subject Brandon Scott had the perfect attitude to make a change for the better in his life. When Brandon first entered Dr. Now's office in 2019, he weighed 718 pounds and felt like he was living in his own nightmare. Even Dr. Now seemed impressed at the progress he was able to make in such a short amount of time. Losing 500 pounds, you're gonna be um, joining the 500 club. That's right. Anytime you're ready for it. Awesome, thank you. Within 12 months, he was down to 383 pounds, which was a major accomplishment. A big part of that seemed to be his girlfriend, Taylor, who went on the same diet as him and ate what he ate. In the episode, he mentioned that while he loved her and they had been together for a while, he never popped the question because he felt as though he couldn't. While he was dreaming of tying the knot with his then girlfriend, but what stopped him was the worry that he wouldn't make it down the aisle, leaving Taylor to become his full-time carer. As a result, he became one of the show's success stories after losing a whopping 450 pounds. It was a great start to a new chapter in both of their lives, and he's continued with his weight loss mission in the years since. There was one thing lacking, and that was the believing in myself, and that took Taylor's love. Now he has more energy than I do even. He wants to go out all the time. I feel like we can conquer anything now. Number 5. Shanae Murray We first met Shanae Murray on Season 6, Episode 13, which aired on April 4th, 2018. She was morbidly obese, just like all the other patients on the show. But she wasn't a usual case. Murray entered the show weighing a whopping 712 pounds on the scale, making her one of the heaviest patients ever admitted to resident surgeon Dr. Now's care. Besides the pain of her high weight and extreme size, she was dependent on her husband husband Freddy due to a debilitating bacterial infection in her legs, which was why she needed help from Freddy to get out of bed and change her clothes. This was the main bone of contention between the two and the couple didn't have a smooth relationship due to Shanae's over-dependency on her husband. Obviously, Shanae was going through a tough time in her life. In the middle of all this, she and her husband were trying to have a baby and start a family, but the weight gain destroyed their dreams. Murray was devastated by two miscarriages due to her weight. Not only was Sinead deprived of being a mother, she couldn't even have a normal life due to the excess weight on her. Murray had been battling her weight at an early age, and it had gotten worse due to her traumatic experiences. Desperate to start her own family and stop relying on her husband, Freddy, to care for her, she finally decided to do active work. She joined Dr. Now's weight loss program, and it proved to be a difficult road. First, after routine health checks, they discovered that her BMI was five times the average 
healthy range. Shanae was desperate to lose her extra weight to have a regular life and start a family with Freddy, but she was not totally honest with herself and didn't make a commendable effort in a positive direction. She frequently disobeyed the doctor's advice and cheated with her diet. Then, when she had to meet weight loss targets, she failed to do so, leading to her hospitalization. Under strict observation at the hospital, she finally dropped 91 pounds. Hospital staff not only seen you eating pizza, but burgers, and then you smart enough not to throw your own trash to get you healthy. And that is what will mean most to me. But instead, you gain 43 pounds. And you don't want to listen, so don't try to teach me medicine. Oh, I'm don't not trying to teach, teach you medicine. If you don't change your eating habits. I have been working hard towards it. But if you work hard, you're show on the scale. Fortunately, that didn't make any dent in her journey because in the final weigh-in, she gained 43 pounds. After that, she cut off all contact with Dr. Now and his team. The way Shanae walked out of the show without any progress got fans fuming over her uncooperative attitude. Number 4. Entreon Shannon 36-year-old Entreon Shannon appeared on episode 11, season 10 of the show. Entreon saw a childhood with Lil in the way of interaction with his estranged father and an overworked mother whose days were spent working hard to provide as a single parent and a little time left after battling daily exhaustion. Shannon's childhood was mostly spent with his grandparents, who were more than happy to provide copious amounts of food to comfort the lonely child. Unfortunately, they paved the way for eating to become Shannon's coping mechanism to battle this pain. By the time he appeared on the show, Shannon weighed well over 700 pounds and had to take 40 different medications a day just to keep his heart from failing. He and his wife also had to move in with his mother due to his health. Despite his setbacks, Shannon was determined to lose weight and improve his life. So how far did he go? Doctor now believed that Andreon Shannon lacked the willpower to go through with the program. After Shannon was let go by one of his original cardiologists, now pushed him to lose 80 pounds with Within two months. Motivated by his wife and mother, Shannon at first took some great strides, not only pushing on with the diet but also exercising and attending therapy sessions to better himself mentally. His belief in his loved ones and his faith should have been enough for Shannon to push through the obstacles and get on the road to healing and making the best out of himself. But sadly, this was not the case by the end. On the show, Entreon talked about a lot of the losses he had in his life. There were many close people in his life who had passed away. He felt like this caused him to struggle with his weight loss. After he lost 300 pounds, he shared that his aunt passed away. There being only a 14 year difference between the two of them, they were quite close which is why he felt her loss acutely. This caused a relapse. By the episode's conclusion, Shannon had gained an additional 15 pounds over the course of the two months where he was supposed to lose significantly more. Shannon was disappointed by his weight gain, although Dr. Now didn't give in to what he believed to be an emotional display, feeling that Shannon still did not have the drive needed to make his weight loss goals a reality. He finally started working with Dr. Now to eat healthier and lose enough for the operation. Still, Entreon Shannon struggled to stick to the diet. There were many foods he wanted to eat that were off limits. Plus, he struggled with motivation to exercise. Eventually, Dr. Nauzaradan urged his patient to get skilled psychological help. It's happiness for me. I love that it takes the pain away. It takes the loneliness away. I'm back in Houston to see Dr. Now, and I know I did better this time. Well, we give you something for pain, and uh, we need to do some tests to make sure you don't have blood clot in your legs. I'm trying. I'm doing the diet. At least I thought I was doing it right. I'm frustrated for her, I think. She can't do more for herself. This was to deal with the root of his problems with food. Shannon confessed that he was struggling with figuring out how to compartmentalize the problems in his life. He felt it was necessary to do this if he wanted to help with his healthy journey. He went into such a depression that he planned to take his own life. Thankfully, he didn't follow through and do it. When Andreon went to his last appointment with Dr. Yoon and Nauzaradan, he didn't lose enough weight for approval. This left him in tears because he didn't accomplish the goal he worked hard for. Unfortunately, his journey came to an end on the show. Number 3. Gina Crazley Gina's life wasn't defined by her health issues on her time on her episode. 
she had appeared on my 600 pound live season 8 in January 2020 during episode 5. Eating was definitely a major source of solace and it was Gina's coping mechanism as she lived with abuse, depression, and anxiety. During the show, Gina opened up about struggling with feelings of neglect and abandonment as a child, explaining that she turned to food as a source of she said in the January 2020 episode that her life had been difficult. The first thing she remembered was her older sister Allie getting diagnosed with agoraphobia when she was 7 and her sister was 11. She felt like all of her mom's attention was on her sister, so she always felt her whole life like she was pushed under the rug. What made her forget the pain of being abandoned was eating, and by the time she was 10, she was already 150 pounds. Gina revealed that she was routinely tormented by bullies as a result of her weight, admitting that she began acting out as a result, which led to her father physically mistreating her as a punishment. By the time Gina reached the age of 14, she weighed more than 300 pounds, and her weight continued to spiral out of control as she consistently turned to food as an escape over the next few years, until she eventually tipped the scales at more than 600 pounds. He kicked me until I was black and blue on my legs, and I had to go to school like that. He would say that I'm not good enough. And I'm sick of the stereotypes that people just think people who are big automatically all they do is eat all day. And that's not true. It's embarrassing not being able to handle something as basic as taking a bath because I'm too fat. She tells me she still loves me and that my weight and how big I am now hasn't changed anything. I was just trying to constantly eat as much as I could. And that pushed my weight to over 450 by the time I graduated high school. She shared that she became addicted to food while she lived with a father who seemed to hate her existence, even after her mother divorced him. The show also saw Gina and Beth struggling to survive as a couple. Gina confessed that her weight had put a serious strain on their relationship because her wife was forced to become her full-time kid. Care. During the show, Gina struggled to stick to the diet plan given to her by Dr. Nauzaradan, and by the end of her episode, she had only managed to lose 51 pounds. She passed away at just 30 due to a mysterious illness. Number 2. Lupe Samano The My 600 Pound Live Star weighed in at 642 pounds when she appeared on the TLC reality show and was desperate to turn her life around after slipping into a diabetic coma early in her life. Lupe's weight soared to 35.7 stone by the time she was a teenager and she said she had reached the point of severe depression. By the time Lupe was 39, she had been unable to move from her bed for more than a decade and was dependent on her husband. Her struggles with food addiction and weight gain started at an early age. Lupe's father abandoned her and her sister in a bathtub and never returned. Lupe stayed in the tub for hours, waiting for her father to come back. When he didn't, she was devastated by the abandonment and turned to food as a coping mechanism to deal with the trauma. However, Lupe sought the help of Dr. Nauzaradan to overcome her struggles. Words kind of explain how much I hate being in this bed. I need to be taken care of 24-7. Now I have to be completely taken care of. The only person I have in my life to take care of me is Gilbert. Ten years together, I've been by her for all that time, taking care of her. And never would expect it to get to this. When I get stressed, I just have to find something I want to eat as quickly as possible. Because of my weight, I am diabetic. And it scares me the most is that my kidneys will fail again. After following an intense diet and exercise regime, the TV personality eventually managed to qualify for gastric bypass surgery. Lupe went on to lose an incredible 28.5 stone, 400 pounds, and was down to just 15.7 stone, 220 pounds in 2019. Number 1. Cynthia Wells Cynthia Wells had a rough go of it during her season 5 episode of My 600 Pound Life. As a single mother to 5 children, she had spent years neglecting her own health so that she could raise her kids. It soon got to a point where she couldn't carry out basic tasks, and naturally, she was worried about what would happen to her children if anything happened to her. As so many people did before her, she put her health into the hands of Dr. Now. Anyone who's seen my 600 pound life can attest to the fact Dr. Now is incredibly strict when it comes to making sure people interested in weight loss surgery stick to his regimen. 
Wells didn't like what he had to say when she went to visit, and combined with the stress of constantly driving back and forth from Oklahoma to Texas, she decided to simply try to lose weight on her own without his help. And the likelihood that you're gonna make this 50 are not very good if you keep this up. I wanna be there when they look up in the stands because kids need that, that makes them go hard. I haven't been able to afford the things that I need to eat. So I've eaten what I could. Okay, if you're eating once a day, you're gaining four pounds. We got a real serious problem. She did, however, eventually receive a gastric sleeve surgery with his help. While she started the episode at 610.3 pounds, she ended at 454 pounds for a total weight loss of 156 pounds. It was a great start to a healthier life, one in which she'd be able to attend to all of her kids' events. But she had a long way to go. That's all we have for you folks. Join us next time.